Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G and it's Wednesday, January 27th. Tesla has unveiled for the first time the highly anticipated new Model S refresh with an entirely new interior, crazy steering wheel, new powertrain, and more. We've been reporting on the upcoming Model S interior refresh for years now, and it's finally come. The interior comes with several expected changes like the horizontal center display and some unexpected. While the instrument cluster is actually smaller, you're going to have a good view of it thanks to the new butterfly steering wheel. Taking the general shape of a yoke for oxen, it looks like a rounded square with the top half cut off. Tesla also has a third-party display in the rear of the Model S for the rear passengers. You can see detailed photos on our site along with a full list of additional features. Here's a few. Improved audio system, increased app and connectivity, new comfort features for all passengers, an added cargo space and convenience access, and also Tesla confirmed that the production of the new Model S will start in the first quarter without confirming an actual timeline for deliveries. Tesla has lost one of its top manufacturing engineers behind its battery cell production, Victor Prajapati, to an electric pickup truck startup called Rivian. Prajapati joined Tesla from the solar module manufacturer First Solar, where he was a manager of manufacturing engineering back in 2017. According to Prajapati's LinkedIn profile, he led an important project that managed to get Tesla out of the production difficulties in the early days of the Model 3. More recently, the engineer became a senior manager in charge of cell manufacturing engineering. And now we've learned that he has left Tesla to join electric vehicle startup Rivian as their new director of manufacturing engineering. A Tesla Model S with the Palladium refresh was spotted being tested on the automaker's test track in Fremont, California. Back in 2018, we reported on Tesla doing a significant interior refresh that has finally come to pass. This refresh also includes some exterior advancements as well. And a new drone footage shows Tesla testing a new version of the electric vehicle, and it appears to have an exterior body changes that we reported on, such as a wider body in the rear wheels. This lines up with the other sighting that we saw of the Model S last month. Nissan has unveiled a new electric winter camper van. It's a concept based on its ENV200 electric van. While Nissan electrification efforts is mostly known through their LEAF electric car, the Japanese automaker also sells the ENV200 electric van in some markets. The company writes about their new winterized van concept, saying, quote, Designed to maximize excitement while minimizing environmental impact, the ENV200 Winter Camper combines the thrill of electric driving with the spirit of the wild. With a host of bespoke driving and lifestyle features, it's primed to tackle tough terrains. Now, the vehicle serves as more of a showcase for the accessories for the car rather than just the actual van itself but they have made a few modifications to the van, such as an increased height and ground clearance, spotlights, and winter tires. Volkswagen has launched a new project to bring to market a new solar electric yacht in partnership with Silent Yachts using Volkswagen's MEB electric battery platform. Silent Yachts has now delivered 11 electric yachts, and they're currently on the water, but they're now seeing strong demand, and we reported on them ramping up production just last year. And now Volkswagen is getting involved through a partnership with Silent Yachts that started as part of an entrepreneur program at Volkswagen. The goal is for VW to design a new version of the Silent Yachts solar electric vessel powered by Volkswagen's MEB electric powertrain used in vehicles like the Volkswagen ID3 and the ID4. Arkimoto, best known for its three-wheeled electric fun utility vehicles, has reached an agreement to acquire Tilting Motor Works. Tilting Motor Works developed the Trio, which is one of the most popular three-wheeled conversion kits for touring motorcycles. Arkimoto has indicated that the technology will be used in new Arkimoto products intended for the micromobility industry. The new tech allows riders to lean naturally into turns, making three-wheelers handle more closely to conventional two-wheeled motorcycles. Arkimoto reached this agreement for approximately $10 million in a deal comprising a combination of cash and Arkimoto shares. Komatsu is partnering with electric bus maker Proterra to help make its construction equipment electric using Proterra's battery technology. The construction equipment giant and the electric bus maker announced the partnership in a joint press release this week, saying that they would develop a battery electric middle-class hydraulic excavator. 
Proterra, which recently moved to become a public company, is bringing some rare experience in building very large battery packs that go into electric vehicles. Komatsu plans to have a battery-powered prototype by the end of the year, and it's aiming for production and commercialization in 2023-24. to And in Electrek's Green Energy Brief, the inauguration of President Joe Biden has heralded in a new era of green energy announcements and plans, and the most important ones come from the White House. As we previously wrote on Inauguration Day, it was anticipated that Joe Biden would take further executive action on a number of new initiatives to fight climate change and curb fossil fuels. And the announcements are in, and here's just a few of them. To conserve 30% of U.S. lands and waters by 2030, pause on entering into new oil and natural gas leases on public lands or offshore waters to the extent possible, officially making the entire 645,000 federal vehicle fleet electric, creating a new task force of 21 agencies and departments to enable a whole-of-government approach to climate, officially scheduling an April 22nd Earth Day summit with world leaders, and establishment of a Civilian Climate Corps initiative. Rideshare company Lime is adding electric seated scooters into their rental fleet. At 28 miles per hour, the new seated electric scooters are better positioned for riders traveling longer distances on high-speed urban roads. These will also be the first Lime vehicles that are intended to carry two riders, as each of them features a storage case holding two helmets. The new electric mopeds can be rented just like the existing electric scooters and e-bikes, charging customers by the minute. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.